by the capacitors here. It's blurry, I know, it's ridiculous. It won't focus. Like Refuses to focus. Okay. Here it goes. The right side. Dang it, it's going out of focus again. Yeah. Nice and neat there. Wish I had a manual focuser on this. Then I would manually focus it. But it doesn't have a manual focuser in here. I don't think. Here. I can't turn the lens thing to focus it, unfortunately. My Sony camera has a better focusing system, but it doesn't stuff. work on the tape transport right anymore, so I have to use this camera. But this is my, um, what's the name? Kikusui Oscilloscope. Model COS six one zero zero M. I actually got this a few years ago from a friend who is an electronics guy, and um, he gave it to me for free. And I'm very happy because it's like a really fancy oscilloscope. I haven't used it in like forever. Actually, I've only tested it one time a few years ago, and then I'm running it again. Inspired by seeing videos by uh, cameraman Link. Although right now I'm watching a video of a 1956 scope by the YouTuber. It didn't work either. 12SQ7GT. There's two 6X4s here though. Sure, it's a tube part number. I'm watching the waveform. There's also a number of neons. That's from Neon Bob. You can see one right here. Now I put this XY. You can see the video. Gosh, this camera is. That's one of seven. Obviously a mono. Put the intensity way down. For the camera's no, sake. No, I put it way down. It's a lot brighter on the camera screen than it is in real life. Right in here, you can see them. Now, if you got it at 45 degrees, you know you got it balanced. The uh, audio, because I balance it over to one to the right, and it only does the Y axis. I think. Yeah, it's doing the Y axis. And then I uh, put it to the left channel, X axis. It's a bounce that I got to get it to be 45. And there we go. 45 degree. You know it's balanced. You know it's a mono signal. It appears to be small. And it came with now I was playing uh, a silo fun uh, cameraman link uploaded a video of this and it showed about the Heath kit and on the uh, X and Y axis and I said I want to try this for myself it does work but not that well like it's not that clear it might be because this 1970s amplifier may not be passing the clearest signal or frequency response because I'm just pulling it up, pulling it out of the headphone output. But it does work.
exaggerate the brightness it's a really nice scope okay now now we got two channels the left channel on the top the right channel on the bottom <laughs> going in and out of focus, stupid camera. X, Y. Well, hope you enjoyed this video of this oscilloscope. This is a super nice oscilloscope. 
and um, I do have the operating manual for it, although I have no idea where it is because when I moved in 2009 to another house, the manual wasn't in it. And right with the scope, or at least has got misplaced somewhere, and it's probably sitting in a box somewhere. Same goes for the probe. I had a probe with it. But I know what I plan to do is make probes. I could just get a wooden, you know, round ended, you know, kind of wooden stick thing and stick a nail in as the probe and put an alligator clip ground and hook it up to these BNC cables which I just spliced and hooked up to these wires to go here to get from the input because it only goes to the BNC input so I'll just be able to make probes that way so that's all good burning match <laughs>